Hey guys, welcome to Protocol Orders Point. Okay, so in this tutorial, let's install Redis in your Windows operating system. Okay, so let's get started. So basically, a Redis is a tool that is been used on a server side to store users data for a temporary purpose or in the form of cache memory. Okay, so you can just visit this website that is redis.io to learn more about this tool. And in this tutorial, in this video tutorial, I'm going to just cover how to install the Redis in Windows operating system. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I was just going through this website on how to install this Redis in Windows operating system, but there was no direct installation file being provided by this Redis website. So I just found an alternative way on GitHub repository. So you can just check it out. So you will get this link in the description. You can just go here and download this file or you can just download this uh, zip file whichever you are which is whichever is your choice. Okay, so I'm just downloading this MSI, L, MSI file that is installation file for Windows operating systems. Okay, so I'll just download it. Okay, and just click on it to install. Okay, so you can see Redis on Windows setup. Okay, so just do the installation part and the main part over here is you just need to tick this add redis installation folder in uh, environment variable. So don't forget this or else you will not be able to use redis from your uh, command prompt. Okay, so just run next and here you just need to focus on which port number you want to run your redis. So basically by default the Redis will run on port number 63979 okay so just keep it as it is and hit next and if you want to increase the Redis memory then you can just allocate the size as much as you want so by doing this it will just make use of 100 MB space of your disk okay so I will just keep it as it is okay next install okay so Redis got installed on my operating system Okay, so just finish it. So that's it. You have just installed Redis in your operating system. So to run Redis, just open the command prompt and run it as admin. Okay. So now from here, so let me show you the folder in which it got installed. So just go to uh, C folder, C drive program files and here search for redis okay. so here you can see the redis has been installed and we have two executable files that is cli and there is a server file okay so let's learn about this more in depth in my upcoming videos so hit that subscribe button and the like button okay uh, so let's run and check the cli from my command prompt so to run the CLI, just you just need to type redis hyphen CLI. Okay, so now you are in Redis and it has been running in a local host 6379 port. Okay, so you can just perform anything over here. So let's store a data in a key. Okay, so key and value. So let's name it as key1 and I will just add a value as my name. Okay, so you can see it got set. So by using this key, I can access this value now. Get key one. So you can see Rajat has been stored. And the main thing over here is Redis stores the data in string form, not only. So it will never store the data in uh, numbers or any other characters. Okay, so it accepts only para string parameters. Okay, so let me try to store a number over here so uh, let me add 15 okay so get key 2 so you can see it has been storing the data in a string format okay so let's learn more about this in upcoming video tutorial so please do subscribe protocol point okay so that's all for this video tutorial uh, thanks for watching